today is errand and in midday, so I'm just about to head out to run some errands. I have to go get blood work because I'm on Accutane right now, so you have to get blood work every month to just make sure everything is good to go. I need to go to like a health store because I need to get some more BCAs and I want to get some collagen powder. And then I also want to go to like an indigo or something and get a calendar for 2023 so I can just, you know, stay on top of everything. I have to get blood work, but I don't have to get blood work on, um, I don't have to fast. A lot of times when you're in blood work, you have to fast. So I go like after lunch, after the people who like went, who had to fast are done. The place I go to is like hit or miss. Sometimes it's really busy. Sometimes it's not busy at all. So I'm bringing my Sudoku book. I'm bringing my word search just to like kill the time. And I'm also gonna bring my laptop. Like if I go and it's like a two hour wait, then I'll just like start editing a YouTube video or doing something that like I don't need the internet for. But yeah, I'm bringing my Sudoku, that, my purse, little hair clip, my sunglasses. So hopefully it doesn't take that long. This is the fit for today. We're wearing sweatpants. We're living our best life. I got some blunt stones on. We got like a nice jacket to pull together and my purse. Who says you can't look like you have your life together sweatpants? Because I will make that a reality. I'm used to being a passenger princess, driving around myself today. I'm excited. I don't know if you guys can relate, like any passenger princesses out there, can you relate? I actually very much love driving. I like to drive like my own car. So when I lived at home, like my dad had a car that he didn't use very often and I would drive that and I love doing that. And this is Brandon's car, so he will always drive. So when I don't drive for a long time, I'm kind of like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta do this myself. And then when I actually start doing errands myself, I'm like, I absolutely love doing this. Like I am no longer a passenger princess. Like I just, I just get like influenced into one or the other. Like I'll be like, I wanna be the driver always. And then I'll stop being the driver. And I'm like, no, I'm meant to be a passenger princess. And I just go back and forth. The place I'm going to, like to get my blood work, it's close enough that I should know how to get there. And I'm trying to challenge myself to like, not just mindlessly put the GPS on all the time. Cause I feel like it's really not great. Like a lot of times I'm like, I feel like I could probably get there and I put it on anyways. So I'm not gonna put the GPS on and I'm just gonna let myself get there. Maybe it won't be the most effective route, but I know which direction it's in. So I'm just gonna try and get there because if I always rely on my GPS, it's just, it's not good. So let's see if I can get there on memory. I just got to the blood lab, but I had to park like a bunch of streets away because I couldn't find parking. I get so stressed about parking when I'm going somewhere that's like downtown or like really busy because I'm like, where am I gonna park? Like I look on Google Maps before and I like walk down the streets and I'm like, yep, this is where I'm gonna park because parking is so extra. Like why is it so hard to find parking spaces? And it's all, it's like busy roads and like I got a parallel park and like your girl can parallel park, but like it's stressful. I remember not that long ago, I was like going to workout class and I was on like the busiest road ever. And there were like a bunch of cars behind me. And then I like went to parallel park and I was like, Jonna, like go off. You are a queen right now. Got the parallel park on the first time, first try. And I was like, that's the confidence we need to bring into our life every single day. My proposition is why don't we just build like underground parking throughout the whole city? Like hear me out, underground everywhere. Like, I, okay, like I understand we can't do everywhere. Like there's pipes and stuff, like I get that. But like, can we make like this big tunnel of an intertwining underground parking? And I understand there are so many logistics that go into this. I get it, I get it. But I just, I feel like we could do that. And then it would make parking so easy. Anywhere you go, middle downtown, don't worry, underground parking, and it's all connected. But you could just drive through the underground parking. Again, I understand there's so much more logistics that go into it, but just like, that's my two cents. Oh my God, I literally was the only one in there. The blood work literally took five minutes. I got in there. I had like a file already because I get like recurring blood work and I just went right in. It took like 30 seconds. And the ladies there are so nice. The nurses are so nice. If you live in Ottawa, message me on Instagram or TikTok and I will tell you where it is because it is my secret spot in Ottawa. Like I've gotten blood work like everywhere else and like a lot of times it takes so long. Even if you go in the morning, so I don't have to fast for mine so I can go in the afternoon. A lot of people who have to fast have to go in the morning, right? Obviously because they like can't eat. But even if you go in the morning, it's not that bad. It doesn't take that long. So now I need to go just like run some like fun errands. I want to get an agenda. Um, I want to get some BCA. So I have to go to like a health food store. And I think that's it. And I have a lot of things on like my to-do list though as well. So I got to get home and get those done as well. Haul 
all of what I got. I ran on my errands, I got my blood work, I was in and out. I went to Kohl's, which is basically just like indigo, and I got this agenda. It was on sale for $11. And it's my absolute favorite type of agenda. It's called Bando. That's the company. And I love them because they have such beautiful illustrations in them. And they're so lively and just so beautiful. The reason it's on sale for so little is that it's a 17-month planner from August 2022 until December 2023. Five months have passed because it's February. That's fine. It was $11. So I'll just literally cut out the first half of it and then just use this year because I have all of this year and that's all I really need and I couldn't pass it up it was $11 super cute and my absolute favorite like look how cute this is all of them have cute little illustrations and then if you go to the actual week well this is the month of it but it's super colorful I have like notes again super colorful and then this is what it looks like and it's just so much freedom to just do whatever you want with it so I absolutely love that super happy with that steal like $11 couldn't pass that up and then my next two purchases, I got my BCAs. This is supposed to help with like muscle recovery and some other things that I don't really know. I put it in my water. I use it because it tastes good. I do notice that it helps a little bit when I work out. If it's gonna be something that helps me drink water, then I'm I'm gonna use it because it'll get me to drink water. Like I haven't had it for this week and I've been I have not been drinking a lot of water. But I absolutely love the flavor of this and I know it does something good, so I'm super happy with this. And then I got some collagen powder i don't really know that much about collagen but i thought i would just start using it putting it in my morning tea you know that would be really gross i don't know i'll put it into something to take it my smoothies i'll put it into my smoothies i don't have joint pain but my joints are a little bit sensitive because of medication i'm on for my acne so hopefully this will help happy with my purchases there was a marshall's a winner's and a home sense all within like 200 meters from me when i went to the health store i was so tempted these together came out to like a hundred dollars i was like girl you are broke. I didn't let myself go because I gotta save my money. Productive morning of my life, ran all my errands. Now I need to clean my house and tackle my to-do list. I'm about to go to my absolute favorite workout class. It's like a Pilates class mixed with yoga, but it's really, really hard. And it's so fun and I love going on the weekend because it's super busy. I got my workout clothes, I'm gonna change. I'll see you soon. Okay, this is the fit. I don't think you can really see it. We got our set on. We are ready to go. This time I'm going to leave a lot earlier. Last time I left and I had to find parking and I got there like literally a minute before the class. I ran in and got the worst possible spot ever. I was like behind a pool. So today we're going to hustle. We're going to do our stuff. I really don't do much work at the gym in the morning. I just put some deodorant on because I don't want to smell, obviously. And then sometimes I wash my face. That's my alarm telling me I need to get up. So today I was thinking, <gasps> I lost my scrunchie. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I did. Today, I was thinking of changing up and doing the little hair clip situation. I always struggle doing my hair for the gym because I have layers in the front and they sometimes pull out. Go-to is just to do a low ponytail because it's just what my hair actually wants to do. And it's like easiest, but it will like kind of pull out and then I have to put like bobby pins in and then I just kind of feel like I'm like eight years old at like a gymnastics meet. So I'm trying to figure out new hairstyles that my hair doesn't hate. I'm a little afraid of the clip because I'm afraid it won't like hold super well during the class, but it's a really good one. And also I'm thinking of like doing my hair down and then up. I don't know how that would work. What time is it? Nine o'clock and I need to leave in 15 minutes. I'm gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna head out. Remember to shave my armpits last night. Sweater is given it. Ooh, it matches my sandals. See if I can do this this morning. <gasps> It is negative 11 outside. I am not happy about that. And I need to talk to someone about changing that. so I can actually get an okay spot. What am I taking with me? I got my DCA water, I got my greens, I got a banana, I don't know why I said it like that. And then I just have a nut bar. Let's go my favorite workout class. Let's live our best life today. <laughs> I just 
got back from my workout class. It was super hard. I go every single Saturday and I'm just not getting better at it. It is just such a hard hit workout. During the jumping jack song, I literally thought this is the end for me. I am not going to be able to do this, but it was amazing. It was great. Me and my cousin Dana went out for coffee after, had a nice little London fog, sat, chatted, caught up, a really wholesome Saturday morning workout class. Then went for coffee. It was great. And now I'm gonna go run a bunch of errands with Brandon. We're gonna go to the other side of the city because we need to go there. And I think we're gonna go to Sephora. There's, I need to get a new concealer. I'm trying to not spend a lot of money. And then it's in the same complex of like Winners, Marshalls. So I might go in there and just look. Again, I don't really wanna spend a lot of money, but I'm in the mood to just get out of the house. There's nothing I really need to get done today. So I wanna get out of the house, chill, and then just get some errands done. Tonight, me and Brandon have a little date night for Valentine's Day. We're just celebrating this weekend because it was on Tuesday, I think. We're gonna go mini putting and then out for dinner. No, we're fancy for dinner. We're probably just gonna go to like a Lone Star or something, which I love. This is your reminder to drink a glass of water if you haven't had any water today. We got our Sephora. I just got a little concealer. And now we're doing Winners, Home Sense, Valley Village. We're living our best Saturday afternoon together.